Now the the bottom is placed on the top and we're gonna move the bottoms to the bottom. As you probably remember, this line, zoom in, has a length in the measure tool of 16 and the other one of 6. So together they are 22. So if I move this object on the z-axis for a 22, so we select this one, zoom out, center it, shift scroll wheel, and select the move tool. Now we select the blue arrow, click on it, and hold, and drag it down. And we give it a value of 22. And now you'll see that the that the bottom is moved exact is to the bottom. We're gonna move it further away for because we have to customize it and then it's better when it's far away from the top for 100. So we moved the left bottom 122 from his old position all together. And we're gonna do the same with the right button. So we select it and we were still in the move mode. And we click on the blue one, so on the z-axis and we click 122. We know if we move this back for 100, it's exact beneath the top. We know that, you know, this this hole uh, is exactly lined up with the hole over here, right? Because we split it and we only moved the the object. Now we can we can close we can close these holes and the magnet I want to stick in it is two millimeters as you remember this line is 16 so 16 minus 2 is 14 so we can close this for a 14 it's a surface the only place we can select it is on the bottom and not over here and that's because we created this in the plane view in the sketch mode and then we drag it out and you see the surface is only on the bottom but we have to close it from the top because now we split it and we manipulate it and we have four different objects. And to do this, see it this way. Design Spark Mechanical has no, no memory. So it knows there is a hole here, but it, 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 it can't remember where the hole came from. So if I select the pull tool to close this one, it, it does not find any face to close it. Yeah, it finds this face and it finds this face but not in there. So to get around it we first deselect the tops so we we sure we're not gonna hurt the tops and we select this face just select it go to plan view select circle yes and now we click on the midpoint you see when it automatically pops up green and we make another circle and we give it a value of four i think four will be yes four is inside and uh, we do the same here break it out four and the same over here break it out give it a value of four and 
Ik doe het over hier als wel. We go back to the home view, the three dimensional. We select the pull tool. And now, you know, we go to the bottom. You see, we created another surface. Design Spark is thinking, hey, which one does he want? Some, somewhere in Design Spark, mechanical, they is thinking, hey, does he wants this surface or this one? Oh, let's create them both. So it made two first surfaces now. And you know, we want to have this one. And we do it easy. We select this one. We press control, hold control, and press the other ones as well. We're gonna push them in for a 14. One for enter. And you will see that over here it's closed now. And by selecting this edge control one F you see it's a two millimeters and that is exactly the size the size of my magnet. So we have to do one more thing now and that's deleting those surfaces. So we select them control hold control and select them all and then we just press the delete button on your keyboard and they're gone.